President Trump now says he could put more tariffs on Chinese goods as trade war tensions between the two countries continues to escalate. With a look at how these tariffs could impact America's here at home, Americans here at home, let's bring in Pennsylvania radio host Chris Stegall, 1210 AM on your radio dial in the Keystone State, and of course, online around the world. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Hi, Elizabeth. My pleasure. Thank you. I want to first and foremost get your take on what you're hearing from your viewers, because Pennsylvania has a huge pork industry. If, if I'm not mistaken, 75 percent of Pennsylvania, the Commonwealth's agriculture is actually animal. And so I'm curious as to what your listeners are thinking and feeling right now. It's such a mixed bag. I mean, Pennsylvania, as you know, is home to a lot of steel country, though, too. And while, yes, now we're talking about the ag sector, which is an entirely different economy, a lot of folks in steel country have been very pleased at how aggressive the Trump administration's been on the tariff front. So it's a catch-22. Now, the president's also made overtures to the uh, agriculture department uh, that, that he wants to maybe somehow try to offset this, if, in fact, it happens. But, Elizabeth, right, right. now, I'm not so sure... This isn't just talk. So you're thinking it's Hopefully. posturing. You're thinking perhaps it's posturing. And, and, it, and it, that it could be. We had talked about perhaps it could be uh, months before we start to see these, these, any of these tariffs go into place. But we saw the effect on the Dow. In fact, Leland just mentioned it was what, almost down 600 points on Friday. But I do want to ask you, um, the president said, listen, this is a little bit of pain now, short-term pain for long-term gain. Your thoughts on that? Uh, I can't dispute what we know China is doing to the American economy. In fact, the IP Commission, Elizabeth, I just jotted this down before we came to air, $225 billion to $600 billion, they estimate annually, the United States economy loses on in intellectual property theft alone. The Chinese are just ripping the American public off. They're ripping American companies off. Something has to be done. And outside of this, I'm not sure what that would be. So it's very, very difficult to to see how we can continue to allow that kind of money to be sapped from our economy, just outright theft. It's, it's got to stop. Uh, I don't want to see anyone in the ag community or any other business community punished, but uh, something's got to be done. Well, that's sort of what I'm thinking is that, that, yes, something needs to be done. I think everyone agrees on that. But how it's done is, is sort of where maybe perhaps people are disagreeing. And even folks on the right side, I mean, we heard from, from Senator Toomey and, and I wouldn't say that he's supportive in any way. No. No, he's not. And, and frankly, as a conservative, I'm not nutty about tariffs. I'm not cheerleading them. It's a real catch-22. As I said, I, I'm from an agricultural community myself, uh, and I have, my family sells soybeans regularly. Soybean sales are a huge component of the ag community in this country. Uh, to, to see those take a hit would be pretty devastating to a lot of farm families, particularly in the middle of the country, who are really worried about this. Uh, right now, I'm hoping it's carrot and stick. Right, so, right. It's, it, as I said, in, ma in manufacturing and ag, we're really two dis disparate interests <laughs> that uh, both both need some help. Bo so both are the being president's very in a much bit of a pickle. potentially impacted. My my last question is: if we continue to see this back and forth, this tit and tat, and the retaliation take place, when we look at voters in the in red states, are they going to be changing their minds, and is it going to be impacting the midterm? I think the president is really, really cautious. Now, with Larry Kudlow as his new uh, economic advisor, I'm very confident uh, that he's been in the president's ear. They're very well aware of the politics of uh, states like Missouri, for instance, where they won by almost 20 points. They can't afford to lose momentum there. I think they're going to see to it that they won't. All right. Chris Stigall, thank you so much, sir. Very interesting. Uh, and, of course, Thanks, Elizabeth. we appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, sir.